Hi everyone! In this video we are going to take a look at Fenty Beauty's new Holiday 2019 collection. This is the Tinsel Show collection. It is currently available for purchase through places like Sephora and directly through Fenty Beauty's website. As always I will put a link in the description box to, to where you can find it online if you'd like to make any sort of purchases as well as a link to Ebates because if you are someone doing online shopping you should be using a program like Ebates so that you can automatically get cash back on all of your online shopping orders. So if this is something that interests you, if you'd like to see swatches of how the colors really look and what the lip products look like applied to the lips, then this is the video for you. I hope you're subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button, and follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. And of course, if you didn't see the most recent video, that's the month of October 2019's What's New in Beauty video. There's a lot of things that we talk about, including products that have not yet launched on the market. So if you're interested in having very quick reviews and overviews of new products and little sneak peeks of upcoming things then go ahead and check that video out. All right let's get looking at and swatching Fenty Beauty's Tinsel Show Collection for Holiday 2019. So the description says meet Fenty Beauty's new Tinsel Show Collection featuring comfortable new shades of Fenty Beauty cult favorites Gloss Bomb, Stunner Lip Paint, and Kilowatt Foil plus best-selling shades you know and like like Body Lava in Who Needs Clothes. This limited edition collection is sure to have you shimmering from head to toe in lustworthy formulas that'll never weigh you down while you turn up. So here's the packaging, the outer packaging for all of the products. And I have to say immediately, I like this collection visually so much more than last year's collection. When I think back on last year's collection and see some of those things are still on sale at Sephora, it's so, uh, I don't want to say gaudy. I don't think gaudy's quite the right word, but there's not a lot of refinement, I felt like, to those products. They were big, they were bulky, it was over the top in a way that wasn't that great, I guess. I like this collection from the start uh, already, just in terms of the size of the products, the kinds of products that are being included, the number of products, etc. So let's first start with this product. This is called Bomb Baby 2. This is a mini lip and face set and it retails for $24. Here's up close. You can see all of the packaging has this metallic quality to it, which is really pretty. And then this is what the other side of the packaging looks like. So you can see what the gloss looks like before even purchasing. So the kit includes one highlighter and one miniature lip gloss. So they're both miniatures. You can see by the size of my hand that these are not full-sized products. The highlighter is in the Kilowatt Foil formula and then the lip gloss is one of the gloss bombs. For the highlighter, you are receiving 2.5 grams or 0.09 ounces. And for the gloss, you're getting 5.5 milliliters or 0.18 fluid ounces. So just like with the full size, this is a snap closure, opens up, has a mirror inside, and this is the shade Sand Castle. The lip gloss opens up like this, has a slanted doe foot applicator, and the shade here is Sweet Mouth. So let's start first by swatching the highlighting shade, applying it with a brush like I always do at first. And the shade Sandcastle is a metallic bronze. I would say this is like a silvery bronze. It's a mix of both. Now, for all you people who say I need to swatch with a different brush because it doesn't show up the product, well, here you go. This very clearly shows on the skin very good color and shine with one layer there. And let's go ahead and do finger swatch because you could obviously use this as a an eyeshadow if you wanted. Just right next to the brush swatch. Wow, that would be a beautiful eye color. And then for sweet mouth, this is a shimmering soft pink. So here are the highlighting swatches. Absolutely stunning. There are some larger silver flakes in there, so if you want something super refined, you're going to find these chunks a little too large. But you could always use it as an eyeshadow right next to that, and then very wearable, pretty lip gloss shade. So next up is the Lil Stunner Mini Longwear Fluid Lip. This retails for $15. 
and it comes in an ornament, so you could use it as a stocking stuffer, or you could literally hang it on the tree if you wanted to. Again, you get that beautiful metallic sheen on the packaging. This is what the fluid lip looks like. Again, you can see it's kind of in a miniature size there. And this is the shade Underdog. The packaging twists up like this. And it's kind of a stubbier doe foot applicator. And Underdog is described as a deep burgundy. Beautifully rich, deep shade. Gonna let it set for a while and check back in. And that's what it looks like after drying down. Let's do a little smudge test. All right, so it doesn't dry completely to a dry surface, but it is the kind of thing where you would need a little bit of pressure to move it around, but be careful since it's a really rich, deep shade when you're eating or drinking, just make sure you check it to see if there are any smudges. And as I was wiping this off, you can tell that it's pretty long wearing here and probably give you a, Nice bit of a staining on the lips too. Here we have the Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Balm Set. This retails for $42 and the tin opens up like this and you get your five mini lip glosses in there. So from left to right, the shades are Pretty Please, Fussy, Confetti, Hot, chocolate and cheeky and in terms of the packaging open up like this and then these have kind of long doe foot applicators pretty please is a shimmering fuchsia fussy is a shimmering pink confetti is a shimmering iridescent opal Hot Choco Lit is a shimmering rich brown. And Cheeky is a shimmering bright red orange. All right, there are your five gloss shades. Oh, and these also do have a fragrance to them. And then we have the Mini Body Lava. This retails for $24. And again, you can hopefully tell the difference between the full size, but honestly, this is a very large bottle here. I think that this is definitely a better investment. It'll take you a really long time to use this up. It's 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. You get a pump bottle. The bottle is glass and the shade is Who Needs Clothes? Let's just go ahead and dispense some of this out. Wow, that's super pretty. I've actually not tried, I don't think, this formula before. The texture feels like an oil. It's like a, a slightly gel-like oil, but it's not heavy or sticky at all. It's a lot more translucent than I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and add some more. Let's see how this builds up. All right, that's what it looks like. Very glossy finish, and it does have a scent to it. So just be aware of that. Now, of course, you don't have to leave it really heavy like that. You'll probably want to spread it all over and into the skin. There is body to it, so it's not something that like completely sinks in. It does feel really nice and nourishing, though. So... That's what my skin looks like when it's all blended in. So my thoughts on this collection are pretty positive. I like that Fenty Beauty cut down on having a ton of different products and individual items like they had last year. This collection is much more confined and precise and I like that. The packaging is really beautiful. And the products themselves are very nice and I think pretty universal. The really, really deep bold shade and with that Stunna lip paint, that's probably the most extreme in terms of colors in the collection. And they give it to you as an individual product. So you can either take it or leave it. With the Glossy Poss kit, 
All five of those shades are semi-sheer. They give you a flush of color, but it's nothing opaque, so they're all very wearable. They're comfortable on the lips. They're not sticky or overly gloopy or thick. They do have body to them. They keep the lips nourished, but they're not tacky or uncomfortable to wear. Going back to the Stunner lip paint, I really enjoy the formula because it is a liquid lip color that does not dry your lips. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. But at the same time, I will say I had a pretty difficult time applying this and getting a precise line. So just be aware of that. The mini body lava, I've already kind of shared my thoughts with you. I think that's a great size, great mini size, while you still get a ton of product. And the highlight and lip gloss duo is also really nice. Still get plenty of product that will last you a long time, but you get to enjoy those at a much more affordable cost. That highlighter is beautiful on the lids. It is a lot on the cheeks, like most of the kilowatt foiled um, highlighters. It is super strong. So if you are not someone who likes a very, very bold highlight, you can always use it as an eyeshadow. And of course the lip gloss in that set is very wearable. So those are my thoughts on this year's Fenty Beauty Holiday Collection. Please share with me in the comments what you think. Did you like this one better? Did you like last year's better? Why or why not? And of course, any other thoughts that you have. I hope this video is helpful to you if you're eyeing any of these things. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one, which would be for Urban Decay's upcoming on the run palettes. So make sure you check that out. All right, see you in the next video.